Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually outside right now because A, it's really hot, it's actually still hot out here, and B, I'm actually at my mum's house right now and there's nowhere to really film inside that's nice because I have a pest control happening in my apartment right now so I couldn't be inside my apartment and I didn't want to be filming and then the pest control guy comes in and um, that'd just be really awkward. And I just thought that I would film a video outside because it's nice. Today's video is going to be an updated what's in my bag video. And I do have a new purse, which you guys would have seen on my Snapchat. So I wanted to do an updated what's in my bag because every single time that I get a new handbag, I must do a what's in my bag. I have to do it. It is like necessary for me to do and I have to show you guys this bag. This is also going to be a review of this bag and the company that gave me this bag. I was very very lucky and I'm very grateful to have been sent this bag from a company called Teddy Blake. Basically they have really really good high quality leather handbags that are made in Italy and they are sort of like replicas or duplicates, cheaper versions of course of really really um, high like designer brands. So they have like some replicas of Birkin bags, they have some replicas of Hermes bags or Hermes, I don't know how you pronounce it, which is what mine is. So it's kind of like if you want a really good high quality handbag, but also one that kind of looks like a real designer bag, but you don't want to fork out like the thousands of dollars for the handbag, then this is a good step. This is the bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is the Katie Stampato bag in the 12 inch in dark beige. I believe they have three different sizes. They have the 10 inch, which is the smaller one, 12 inch and 14 inch. So this is the middle medium sized one. So it's a really, really good size. Um, and as I said, it's in the dark beige. So this is what it looks like on the outside. As I said, this is a real leather handbag. So it is very very good quality and this is the first really good quality handbag that I've ever owned before in my entire life. I always just get cheaper ones and it doesn't bother me because they always tend to last me but it's nice to have something a little bit more like better quality and you can definitely feel this bag is really really good quality. They do offer on their website um, free shipping and, and returns I believe if you're in the US but if you're international I think the postage um, and shipping is around 30 something dollars which is pretty expensive i guess um but of course as i said these bags are made in italy so you know it's kind of expected yes i absolutely love it it comes with a little lock it also comes with a strap that you can wear if you want to wear it like lower on your shoulder and it also comes with a really really nice um, duster bag i believe is what they're called that you can put the bag in to keep it you know nice and like clean and out of the sun and everything like that. In order to open the bag, um, you have to like undo this clasp here and then just take out the flap. The only thing about this bag I really don't like is the fact that the middle part here is um, like actually like, it, there's no zip to it. So you have to like unlock all of this and then get into the bag. And then once that's done, you can leave the bag open, which is what I do because closing it like this and then having to like undo all of the flaps to get into it is a little bit annoying. So it would be nice, I think, if there was a zippy here that you could just open. But I really like the bag, how it looks like this, but I wouldn't typically carry it around like this all the time because it would just be like annoying to have to open it all the time and get into it. So, oh stop, please, dolls, please. So yeah, as I just said, basically this part here just like then flaps back in and then you can carry it like this. And it still looks really nice. I think it looks nicer when it's all done up, but it's just a little bit annoying to have to undo it and then do it up and undo and do it up. So I just basically leave it open like this. There is quite a big space in this bag. It kind of opens up like this, so you can fit a lot in here. It has a little open pocket there and then the middle, and then there's also a little zip pocket at the back. Um, you can fit quite a lot of stuff. I like the fact that there's an open pocket that you can just put like your phone in and stuff. And inside is suede, so it is really, really nice inside. And you can definitely like smell the leather on this handbag. It's crazy. But they do have a little section on their website of how to clean inside the bag and also how to clean the leather and what you need to do to clean it. So they kind of have all of that there so that you can have like and take the best care of your bag as possible. First thing that I have in here, this is pretty clean. This is like a clean edition of what's in my bag because I literally just got this. But first thing I have is my wallet. This hasn't changed since my last handbag thing. This is just from Kmart. Um, I really like it. It's black with a little gold zipper and um, 
I don't know, I just really, really like this wallet. It's just simple, it's easy. I have a Mecca gift card, which I need to use desperately. The hair salon that I went to yesterday. So next off, I have a little makeup bag. This is a bag from Nude by Nature. It came with like a bunch of different little, get off my camera, please. It came with like a little makeup sort of thing in. So I just sort of um, carry this with me. I mainly like took this in my bag so that I could like retouch my makeup when I got here. But I think I would keep it in here anyway. So I just have a little hand sanitizer. This is the handmade hand cleansing gel from Soap and Glory, which I love. I have a little tulip brush. I think this is a Sigma brush, but I don't know because the um, name has come off of it and I have my little face of Australia blush I don't really retouch my makeup to be honest with you but as I said I just kind of bought it with me today and I would keep like lip balm and hand sanitizer and stuff like that in here I have a powder I have some tweezers to reattach my eyelashes if they came off today I have my lip product I'm wearing this is the Too Faced melted liquid lip stick in melted sugar I have a q-tip for my little eyeliner that sometimes smudges I really like this bag you can fit a lot in it and I like the little rose gold zipper so just keep that in there for little additive thing then I have my sunglasses um, I don't mind these sunglasses I don't know where I got them from um, I think I don't know but um, I used to have my little ruby black aviators I'm pretty sure I've misplaced them and I've lost them somewhere it's really sad but these ones are eight. Oh, they're really, really dirty, sorry. But they're just like a little cat eye sort of thing. Really classy. Um, I don't really love them, to be honest with you. I need to get new ones. I really want some aviators again. That's the only glasses I ever love. Then I have a perfume, which has um, also got an eyelash on the bottom of it. That's embarrassing. And I wondered where that had gone. This is the Ariana Grande, Ari by Ariana... Ar Ari by Ariana Grande perfume. I love this perfume so much. I have my keys. I have a little um, teasing comb actually because I wanted to make sure I had something to like brush through my hair because it was straight but then as soon as I get here in this heat um, it's basically fucked it all up so. And then that's pretty much all I have like in the middle compartment there and in, then in the back little open pocket I have some Penadol Rapid for that pain relief. I have some extra gum. This is my favorite gum of all time, the Extra Bubble Mint. It's amazing. It's like juicy fruit and mint. Not that you care. And then I also have the Body Shop Strawberry um, Hand Cream, which is my favorite scent from the Body Shop. And the fact that I have it in a hand cream is just absolutely amazing. So that's pretty much everything that I have in my bag. Very clean addition. I know it may not be as fun, but... I do like keeping my bag clean and there is no way that I'm going to get this one dirty. This is not going to be my take to work bag where I put food in it. Like, no, this is my clean bag. My impressions of this bag and what I think of this company, really, really great company. Love the bag. I feel like this color in particular, they have a ton of different shades. I feel like this one in particular is really nice if you want a bag that goes with everything, but you don't want a typical black bag because I typically always get black or cream handbags. Love it. The only thing as I said about it is I don't really love how it does up, but it's not really the biggest of deal. I would just leave it um, open like that. But yes, I really, really like it. It's really good quality. You can feel that it's heavy even with nothing in it, which... I feel just goes to show how good quality it is. Love the size of it. If you're wanting a bag that you can wear, like use for every single day and you just want to fit normal stuff in, I would go with the 12 inch. The 10 inch I would do if you're just wanting something really, really small. And the 14 inch I would do if you want to fit like iPads or work things in it because this one I wouldn't say you'd be able to fit a really large amount of stuff in. So that is basically it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Really sorry if I look a hot mess and sweating, but it is so bloody hot. I will leave all of Teddy Blake's information down below as well as a coupon code for you to get a discount if you are wanting a bag. So that will all be down below as well as my own social media links. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video.